Hi, this is Dr. William Curtis with Future Focus Family Medicine and the EnergyTribe.com. I'm talking today about the link between drinking alcohol and hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is a condition where uh, a patient's blood sugar suddenly drops over a short period of time, causing a tendency towards shakiness, irritability, uh, sweating, and a general sense of weakness. This condition can be caused by a lot of different uh, foods and situations, and some people are more prone to it than others. In general, people who consume a large percentage of their diet in the form of processed sugars, um, grains, cereals, sweets, sodas, these types of foods typically make you more prone to uh, hypoglycemia. You might find that if you eat a lot of these foods um, and are prone to hypoglycemia, you'll also be very prone to tendencies uh, like migraines, um, a, a general fatigue, uh, and you'll be prone, more prone to joint pain and other uh, uh, physical ailments. Alcohol can be a real trigger for um, hypoglycemia, and it often does so through our endocrine system, which is the hormone signaling system of our body. <clears throat> the way this works is when you consume alcohol, it stimulates our adrenal glands to release cortisol. Cortisol is a stress or fight or flight hormone in the body. When cortisol is released, it directly tells the liver to release sugar. Ideally, this is in preparation for a fight or flight situation where your body is in a sudden demand for sugar to power muscles to either run for your life or uh, fight for your life. Unfortunately, um, when this occurs outside of that scenario, such as when you're drinking alcohol, what happens is sugar is released from the liver and then insulin has to come in to keep the blood sugar under control. As insulin rises and falls in relationship to the cortisol rising and falling, what happens is you you will get sudden swings in blood sugar. It's that sudden swinging that can make you neurologically and physically feel very off. I've even seen people faint from hypoglycemia um, and often feel suddenly way better whenever they're given a, a sugar or a fluid uh, like orange juice uh, to replace that sugar very abruptly. So again, this is a vicious cycle that we see that sometimes can be triggered by certain dietary issues and certainly by alcohol. Again, that doesn't mean you can never have alcohol. It just means if you're having these types of uh, symptoms, be aware there's a link between the two and it can uh, disrupt your endocrine balance such that you're more prone to fatigue, headaches, and uh, hypoglycemic symptoms. So that's for the, the tip of the day. It's pretty simple and straightforward. If you wanted to try uh, avoiding alcohol for one to two weeks, uh, that would be enough time for you to see if you feel more strong, more energetic, less food cravings, and see if you feel just generally more stable and energetic. I think it's worth a try, and uh, it's something I use with my patients quite often, and it tends to help quite a bit. So that's the tip of the day from the energy tribe. Com. Feel free to blog or post if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them.